I mean, we do have a beautiful male line, and I would like to show it to you, but first let's examine exactly how much of his meal he has consumed. Might be a little bit upsetting for those of you with sensitive stomachs if you're not comfortable with carcasses. Now would be the time to look away. Well, about two minutes ago would have been about the time to look away. And what strikes me about this is that he actually hasn't eaten much of it at all. He nibbled away around the armpit, and he's taken out, it looks like he's taken out the liver and the lungs, which is sort of always the first thing to go when lions or when any predators feed, actually, particularly on big kills. Their stomach contents, of course, they leave behind. It's not particularly digestible for them. It doesn't do them any good. So they leave that behind. But the kidneys, the liver, the heart, the lungs, those are all the most nutritious part of a wildebeest kill or any kill that they make. And he's eaten the organs, and that's pretty much it. And I guess at this time of the year, the lions can afford to be quite fussy. Uh, as we go back to our male lion, what I would expect to see is him breathing quite fast with his full belly. And that brings us to Mr. A's question about whether or not lions get heat exhaustion. And the answer to that is they absolutely do. And in fact, they are exceptionally intolerant to changes in internal body temperature. They, their body temperature can't rise much more of around about a degree before they really start to be in trouble, and possibly about a degree and a half before they really start to suffer. And what that means is that in general terms, the lions will spend a lot of time sleeping, they'll spend a lot of time in the shade, and while they're digesting like this, they'll spend a lot of time sleeping and panting because the breakdown of the meat, apart from just the fact that they're full-bellied, and everybody knows you feel warmer with a full belly, um, apart from that, the digestive process of that meat releases quite a lot of heat, so they do get very hot. It's also one of the reasons why the males tend to, or one of the reasons why they've got this reputation of being not particularly good at hunting, or and some, some people even believe they can't hunt at all. And that's because with that big heavy head of mane, they actually will struggle. They don't have the same stamina of the females because they, they get hot much quicker. They're bulkier, they're stronger, but they do get hot very quickly. So whilst they absolutely can hunt, there are physiological differences there. So yes, lions can get heat exhaustion. You can see he's gathered quite the collection of flies on his belly. And I have noticed there's definitely more flies around with the arrival of the wildebeest. Yes, Angeline, those are indeed flies on his belly. Lots and lots and lots of flies. No tsetse flies, just bog-standard flies that have gathered together on this particular lion. He's been in a scrap. There's an injury on his leg there. And then, of course, there's the cuts around his face. Looks like he got into quite an uncomfortable fight. And that injury around his eye looks, does look very painful. Now, Robert, watching our male lion sleep, you want to know if lions or leopards ever get attacked by... What was that, Kirst? Was that other predators while they sleep? Yes, absolutely they do. Remember, every predator out here is competition for another predator. So a big male lion is probably not likely to be attacked in his sleep because he's the biggest, strongest predator out here, unless there are marauding males that have come in, in which case they might try to sneak up on him. Um, a lion will sneak up on a sleeping leopard. A sleeping a leopard will not sleep, sneak up on a sleeping lion. That's not a fight that they want to pick. I have seen hyenas sneak up on sleeping leopards before. So yes, it does happen. For the most part, though, for the most part, though, <laughs> the male lions don't have much to worry about. I'm not exactly sure what it is that Tristan has, so it'll be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you.